Hi guys! Today we do another project pen update, as you can already see in the title. I must say, um, from the beginning, I did not wear too much makeup this month, because my eczema is just well, not in the best. I did try though, um, well, when I did use makeup, to use of course my project pen things, and yeah, but that's just in the beginning. So, first thing, my bronzer, I repressed this one. And as you can see, I hit pen on it again. It's quite big and it's quite thin as well. So hopefully um, in a month or two, that should be done. Um, I didn't use it too much. I think if I would have used it much more, I probably would have not much left at all because it's such a thin layer left. Then same as my blush. I repressed this one and we whoops, we hit pen on it again. So um, I like this blush. It did change a bit with the repressing though. Um, it's Kiko Milano and the Tuscan range, I think. Yeah, Tuscan Sunshine blush, the Florence Dream one, number one. I really like this blush. It has a slight sheen to it, which I really like. So I don't have to actually necessarily wear highlighter with it, although I do because I like my highlighter. But um, yeah, I like this blush and I will continue using it. I might at some point have to repress it again because I didn't do such a good job last time. <laughs> then, oh, my highlighter. So this is the Laura Geller. I really like this one. This is the peach glow from their baked gelato swirl line and um i kind of have pen on it but not really so there is a little hole in the middle but i think that was just a bubble when um, the product was baked because it's like a baked jelly formula but as you can see it's really going down it was very domed in the past and yeah i enjoy it i use it it seems to develop a little bit of hard pen always on the side but that's just i think how um, the baked jelly formulas sometimes go when they wear off but i really like this one and i enjoy using it then um, powder wise, um, this one I didn't use too much. Um, it's just a bit too drying, but you can see now on the side, the like I can't really call it hitting pen, but with these baked jelly formulas, there's like a I don't know like a tile underneath, which is usually made of stone um, when they bake them or like I don't know clay. And um, this seems to get a little bit bigger. This one is already quite low. If you look sidewards. Yeah, they, they do go down, and I used it a few times, but just not too much, because this is a bit of a drying powder from Bare Minerals, the Invisible Light ones, matte and glow. Um, I also went a bit further with this powder. This is from Kiko Milano. This is matte fusion pressed powder number 01. I didn't use it too much, because my skin is just really dry at the moment. But um, it was like a straight pan, and I don't know if you can see, it has now a dip in the middle. You can see it here, yeah. So I'm I'm guessing maybe in a month or two if I continue using this one, um, I will hit pen. But I use a lot of different products at the moment because I use these two. And then I also um, every now and then use this one, um, which is in, it's an Evlon packaging, but the powder in there is from Juno and Co. And this one, I think it's, it's getting, it's getting there. Let me, there. It's um, the makeup setting powder from Juno and Co. And yeah, as you can see, we're down here now. So, yeah, you can see it's really, it's this bit left now because every now and then when this one is usually when it's like roughly here, I do fill it up again. So I would say I use this one mostly because um, I filled this one up quite nicely this month. It's, I quite like it in this packaging, by the way, because um, you have it like this, you just go down and then you um, set your face where you want to set it. And that's it. Then mascara. Um... This one actually dried out completely, so I stopped using it, and I changed over now um, a few days ago to this one. It's cosmetic. Um, I did like this um, Bobbi Brown one. Not the savvy one I would purchase because it's not amazing, but it's a good mascara, and I enjoyed using it. And now I have this one from It Cosmetic, the superhero one. Um, nice traditional spoolie brush, and yeah, it's an okay mascara. It's definitely better than this one at the moment, but this one, you know your last impression of the mascara is always when it's like half dried out, so it's not the best. Um, but yeah, I enjoy using this one, and um, I will go on using it. Then, actually, let me put that aside. Another thing I actually emptied um, is a lipstick. This is from Hourglass, the I Cherish. Um, this is the refill. I took it out. Where is the... I don't know where I put, um, it comes like with these stabbing metal thing where you, you take the refill out and you put it in. But I put the other one in now. This one I think was like a set for Christmas and this one I just stopped using now because um, there's a tiny little bit left but it falls off when I try using it. So I just gave up now. 
and I mixed this co color in anyway. Also, what's really annoying, the lid actually doesn't hold on anymore. Even when it's like in the normal packaging, it just doesn't hold on anymore. So I thought, okay, um, um, it's finished for me, even though there's a tiny bit left. Um, but for me, it's finished and I wouldn't repurchase them. They're okay, but I think they're way too expensive for what they are. I find the formula quite thick and silicony. Um, if you like that, fair enough. They are quite pigmented, but they also find I find they go quite thick on the lips. So from that perspective, mm, no, not a repurchase for my side. Um, I also finished up now the um, Marc Jacobs um, gel eyeliner, and this one was in the color Glamoroon, I think. Where's the color name? I'm pretty sure it's Glamoroon anyway. This one um, is just now, it's a gel eyeliner, it's just really lumpy now when you try um, to put it on, so I can't really use it anymore, but let me try to get... Yeah, let me get, try to get a stroke. It's actually a really, really nice color. I did enjoy using it, and I used I used it a lot last year, and for I just used it exclusively the first month of this year. So I'm actually really happy. I got so much use out of it. This one is a really nice color. The only thing, if you don't like it, when it dries down at the end of the day, it gets like this um, bit crumbly and quite thick. It's like one of these you can really like pull off at the end of the day. Um, as an eyeliner so they are quite thick but still um, I enjoyed using this color would I be purchased maybe if it would be super cheap on offer again because I remember I got this really cheap on offer via Netta Porter um, next thing my eyebrow gel I still use this little sample from Benefit the Gimme Brow it's quite cute has like a little um, yeah a little brush um, it's a light color let me actually show you I don't do much with my brows I literally brush this in and that's it um, I don't need massive, huge brows, so that's all I use, and I'm happy with it, and I will continue using it. Then I also still use this um, eye stick from, ooh, from Ted Baker, but I have to be really careful now with this one, because this shade here on this side um, actually comes out. So this is what's left, so I have to be quite careful. Let me put it back, and I can only always get it out a little bit. I didn't use it too much because I'm focusing on um, the Wizard palettes um, in the last months for my review. So yeah, but on the other side, by the way, is this lighter color, which I probably um, could use up as some base, which I'm doing every now and then. It The only problem is with this one, um, it's quite shimmery and nice, but it does crease. And funnily enough, when I use the other side, this more taupey color, um, it doesn't crease as much. It's much nicer. So I don't know why they're different colors, but they also seem to be different formula because this one is much, much nicer to wear than this one. Then what did I use on foundations this month? Well, my eczema flares up at the moment. So this one is supposed to be my project pan foundation, but it's high coverage and I didn't use it for ages because my skin is peeling a lot. And when you have peeling skin you do not really want a high coverage foundation because it just looks horrendous so i used this one a few times um the airbrush away foundation from number seven which is like a serum foundation in cool ivory um i really enjoyed these two foundations though when my eczema breaks out um this is the beautifully matte mousse in cool ivory from number seven you can buy it in boots they discontinued this one i loved it so much this month i actually um, contemplated on buying a backup so I looked on the Boots website and it doesn't exist anymore. They discontinued, which is a shame. And then also I used um, every now and then from Kiko Milano. Um, this is a powder foundation and it has actually really good coverage. It's the Nothing Matte in Ivory. And the only thing is though with this one, um, I really like this one. It's really good. But I use a lot of face oils at the moment because of my eczema. It really um, calms my skin and I just really like it. And this one on face oils gets considerably deeper. It, it really um, yeah, changes color, unfortunately. And um, this one wears a little bit better. Although, again, if I wear too much face oil, this one can be a little bit patchy. Like This is like a um, cream to um, powder formula, these typical mousse foundations. So I need to be careful um, yeah, that I don't wear too much face products when I wear this one. So I, sometimes I just go without. But because I used so many different ones, there's not really progress on anything. But at least I make use of my collection. So, and last thing for my update um, is my face spray. is the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist from Glow Recipe. I love the mist on this one. I used it loads. Um, we were here last month and now you can see really faint. I made a very light mark with my 
with some nail varnish, which I really can recommend by the way. And marking something with nail varnish, it doesn't go off as quickly. But yeah, we are we're literally down here. So, to be honest, if I go on like this another month, um, that should be finished, and I can tackle the next face mist. This one is really nice. It doesn't agitate my um, eczema, and it's just a nice fresh face mist, which I need a lot at the moment because my skin just drinks up everything. But yeah, that's it for me today. Um, all a bit mumble jumbled at the moment with my project pan, purely because my skin is not up to par. But yeah, I'm working on that. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!